Welcome back to Best of the Bets. I'm Christina Nicolaides and we're looking at Sunday's Premier League action and some of the European games. I have Sam Diamonds, our football expert and editor of bestofthebets.com. How are you, Sam? Very well, thank you. Good. And Gareth Walker, who's our bookie extraordinaire from Heavenbet and mermaidbet.dk. How are you? Very well, but I've just realised I'm not the smartest on this set for one, so I'm a bit upset about that. Very dapper, Sam. For once. Very, very dapper today. Uh, we are going to start with the Merseyside derby. Liverpool are two, draw 3.6, and Everton are four. Um, we expected a reaction from Liverpool after the, the Luis Suarez affair, and mm. we certainly got one, uh, probably bigger than we expected as well. Yeah. Um, but I think we have to sort of take that into a certain amount of context and how much of it was down to Newcastle. Newcastle just, not turning up. We look at this game now and obviously a Merseyside derby, we, we don't expect Everton to give quite as much uh, away in terms of chances for Liverpool. Um, and I think uh, there's an interesting thing with Everton is uh, this comedy defence that we've lambasted so much this season. <laughs> yeah. They've suddenly got their act together. They've really shored up. It's the uh, on us now. Five clean sheets in the last seven games. Um, but I, I just there's a lot of this points to a draw for me. Everton have drawn uh, the joint most games in the, the Premier League this season, 14 along with Norwich. I mean, this, this is pretty much Liverpool's last uh, crack at catching yeah. Everton now. Um, but I suppose their record against the, the six teams above them doesn't bode well. Just one win this season um, and they have drawn three of their last four games uh, I quite like going cagey when it's a local derby anyway just with so much at stake yeah. so it's going to be the draw from me so the draw is priced at 3.6 well the couple of really big points to this one is Liverpool's really poor results record against the big sides um, and Roger's team selection he never seems to I appreciate he's a top level football manager and I'm a a pundit sat here, but he, he just never seems to pick the, the right team to me and always has to make changes at half-time, sort of play catch-up from, um, from, from where he's made mistakes with his original selection. Um, I think certainly Liverpool will shorten uh, before the game. If you're looking to bat Liverpool, uh, if you take two or anything that's slightly odds against, definitely Do it get your bet on early yeah. because I'm, I'm sure that by the time this kicks off, uh, Liverpool will be, be odds on uh, without a doubt. Um, so, you know, plenty, plenty in favour of Liverpool, but I'm with Sam actually. I think the draw which Everton would, would bite your hand off for. Um, I'm, I'm going to just favour the draw over a, a Liverpool win, but um, I, I do respect Liverpool's recent form and, uh, yeah, should be an intriguing game. OK. So we've heard what the boys have had to say about this particular game. It's time to hear from the big man, not Sam Allardyce. It's Mike Holden. It's the big Merseyside derby this weekend and it might well be David Moyes' last ever Merseyside derby. Uh, and he'll obviously be targeting a first ever victory at Anfield, um, but I'm not convinced he'll get it. I think Liverpool look good things to win this game. Uh, Everton have been tiring a bit in recent weeks by the looks of things. Uh, the performance data is dipping a little bit and, you know, just the narrative of the season. They started like a house on fire. Too many draws have prevented them really mounting a real Champions League challenge. And now they're beginning to tail off a little bit. Lost the last away game at Sunderland. Um, and I think if Liverpool perform to anything like the same standards they've been hitting recently, then it could be a long afternoon for the Toffees. Um, I do think it'll be a very competitive game. Uh, I think Everton will be in it for long periods, but ultimately I think Liverpool have the quality to, you know, to take their chances when they come along and to win the game. So, Gareth, we've heard from Mike. He's signing with Liverpool. He is. Uh, that's priced at two. Um, I should also say we've got uh, two matches this weekend that we've got our big games, big name offer for. Uh, the first of them is this one, Liverpool versus Everton. If you have a losing correct score or first or last goal score a bet on this match um, and Marouane Fellaini scores the first goal, then Heaven Bet will refund your bet. OK. Moving on to Manchester United versus Chelsea. And Chelsea not tiring, even with their Europa League fixtures. They're not. This is the other game where we've got our big games, big name offer, so it's one matter this time. Prices for this one, uh, Manchester United are 2.2, the draw's 3.5 and Chelsea are 3.4. Sam, not a game that Man United will want to lose. No, but, but now that you've got no chance of getting this points total, uh, this record that Chelsea set, then you kind of have to wonder where the competitiveness for them comes in these remaining games for the yeah. season. Um, I think what I can look at is the four times they've met already this season. Uh, uh, in the league, in the uh, Capital One Cup and the two FA Cup games. It's always been a fighting um, affair, hasn't it? It has done, and I think there is one very interesting angle in the fact that United have really seemed to start these games quite quickly. Mm. Um, 
And if you look at the, the aggregate first half score in these matches, it's 6 2 to Manchester United. But if you take the total score line, it's actually 10 8 to Chelsea. So I wouldn't really like to, to pick a winner or, or a score line, yeah. but I just think Manchester United, first half, have got the best first half record in the Premier League, whereas their second half record finds them behind Arsenal, Manchester City, and Liverpool. So mm -hmm. they like to get their, their games done early, and I'm United first half for me. It's priced at 2.7. I really, really like that. I'd, I'd rather have that bet than actually have a, a bet on the, the match outrights because I, I'm struggling to, to see an angle. Um, the way I'm looking, uh, a couple of correct score bets, um, taking advantage of the uh, the big game's big name offer. Yeah. 2-1 um, United, priced at 8, or maybe 2-2, two, two, um, 11.6. OK, so moving on then. Uh, Sunderland versus Stoke. Successive wins now for Stoke, but surely a Sunderland win. Well, you can get a good price about it. 2.05 for Sunderland, uh, so odds against if you're, if you're that confident. Uh, draw 3.3 and Stoker 4. I'm not sure I'd go as far as saying surely a Sunderland win um, because they've got a lot to deal with, not least the fact that uh, Paolo Di Canio, it looks like his honeymoon period is over. Uh, he was already uh, down to the bare bones, if you like, with the, the Fletcher and Cattle injuries. He's now got to add um, Sessegnon suspension. He'll be out for the end of the season now after his red card. So again, I think you start then to sort of question uh, how are Sunderland going to score goals? Uh, they've done very well lately. Uh, and obviously we know Stoke don't give much away. They've pretty much sec secured their safety with those two wins. Um, but I just can't get away from this Stoke st uh, statistic of 16 of their 35 Premier League games this season, under one and a half goals. Another one last week um, yeah. against Norwich that we foresaw. Um, I'm gonna, that's the way I'm going to go again here, just think with, with Sunderland's issues, I think there may well be a reaction. Uh, you'd expect that with, with De Canio in charge. Yeah. Um, I mean, Sunderland, yes, they did have those two great games. Um, certainly De Canio gave the dressing room a lift and a spark. Uh, they can't keep on banging in ridiculous goals from, uh, from outside the box. So everything points to wonders here, not a lot happening here. The draw is a real result of convenience here, because one point closer to save, Stoke you'd imagine a save, yeah. one more point for Sunderland you'd imagine is probably going to be enough with their, their, their good goal difference. So yeah, I mean angles like, uh, well one on both teams not to score the shots, 1.6, I wouldn't recommend that, but just the nil-nil draw, uh, which is priced at 9.6, always a good thing with, uh, with Stoke games. Uh, money back on losing first goal score and correct scores if any game finishes nil-nil in the Premier League, yeah. any Stoke game is a huge contender for that. Uh, yeah, this could be uh, not, not gripping entertainment. I like Sunderland's nick at 1-0. Sunderland to win 1-0, uh, that's priced at 6.2. Uh, moving on to Spain, Barcelona versus Real Betis. Barcelona 1.2 to win this, they'll be uh, delighted to see somewhat easier opposition uh, rolling up to the new camp than, than Bayern. Uh, the draw is 6.7, Real Betis 12.6. We know that the saving grace for Barcelona is the fact that they are going to take the, the title back from, uh, from Real Madrid. Yeah, they could do it this weekend if, uh, if Real Madrid inexplicably drop points against uh, Valladolid. Uh, a, a win here would do it. For me, I'm going to look at playing this draw half-time uh, and then going with Barcelona full-time. I think it's copped three times this season. Quite happy to go there again. Yeah, it's priced at 4.4. The angle I like here, uh, Danny Alves to score the first goal. Uh, Sevilla old boy, so he, he had a, a lot of time there. Six years, I believe, he was at, at Seville, so he'd love to score against Betis. He seems to be getting forward a lot. Um, so at 20 to score the first goal, or 5.8. He just stays forward rather than... <laughs> well, yeah, actually, yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah, I've got, got that wrong. 5.8 to score any time, or 20 to score the first goal. Uh, he had four shots in a, a game recently, which is quite astonishing for someone that uh, on paper plays so defensively. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the, the way I'm going to go with this. Um, I mean, if you fancy Barca, 5-0, 16-6-0, 24, if you think there'll be a real response from, from that defeat. Uh, but I think it'll be a, a lot tighter than that. Mm -hmm. Betis plus two on the Asian handicap is priced at 1.8. So any Betis win, uh, a draw, a, a Barcelona win by one, you, know, you bet to win. If Barcelona win by two, you get your money back. Yep. Um, it, you know, 1.8 is, is fair enough. You're just trying to avoid a, a thrashing. OK, so from La Liga we're going to Serie A and we've got Napoli versus Inter Milan. What's happened to Inter Milan? Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good question. Napoli are 1.45 to win this match, draw 4.4, Inter Milan 7.6. Um, if you look at this game just on the names, you think, well, that's massive. Yeah. Sam, can you, can you see any case for Inter Milan to, to win this game? Not really. Um, I, I think the fact that they had uh, seven straight wins uh, earlier in the season has masked what has been a very poor second half of the season yeah. and a poor campaign overall. Um, I think if the 
the season started after the winter break, they'd actually be 13th in the table, as it is their the sort of a, a fairly respectable seventh. Yeah, seven. But you look through the Inter Milan team, and it's just the the one that lost the one 0 to Palermo last week. Yeah. I mean, it's just got nothing on previous sides, sides that we've sort of grown up with and come to know. So. Inter Milan have lost five of their last seven games and yeah. just look very susceptible to well, just any kind of pressure at the moment. Um, Napoli, meanwhile, have got over their, their recent blip and have won five in an unbeaten six-match spell. Yeah. The angle I like in this game is uh, Napoli, they've had a late splurge of second-half goals lately um, in their recent two games against uh, Kairi and Pescara. Uh, They've, they've gone into the break either 0 0 or 1 0 down and have scored three second half goals. They did the same against Torino, I think, in a 5 3 match quite recently. Mm. But he seems to be coming on very strong in the second half. So most goals in the second half for me. I was priced at 2.1. It's a, I do like that angle. Um, it's a, a decent runner for any Italian game, but particularly yeah. when you look at, at the, the makeup of these two sides, I think it's a, it's a great shot, actually. Um, so, I mean, yeah, everything points to, to the home win here. You know, you, you'll know from the shows that I'm not normally a big fan of steaming into to short price good things but I mean everything points to Napoli form 16 points better off they're in far better form in to just look yeah just desperate for the season to finish um, so yeah I mean 1.45 at home wouldn't yeah. put uh, anyone off that at all uh, yeah really really solid bet really good and absolute must have for any weekend accumulators okay we are moving on to France PSG versus Valenciennes first versus 12th PSG 1.2 to win in 90 minutes uh, the draw 6.1 Valenciennes 13.1 to uh, spoil the party. Uh, there seems to be a suggestion that they're, they're, they're nervous and creeping over the line as well. That with a very that bad tempered one 0 win uh, against Devian last week, they had three sent off. Hey, uh, David Beckham. David Beckham Hello. goes. Uh, but I think probably uh, more of a concern for PSG in these pitches is the fact that Marco Verratti went, uh, and so did their goalkeeper uh, Salvatore Sirigu, um, who has been very impressive this season. Um, so, without their goalkeeper for this game, will Val Valencian, um be able to take advantage or will PSG add to their 22 clean sheets this season? I think they probably will because yeah. in the second half of the season, Valencian have, have really struggled. They failed to strengthen in the transfer window. Yeah, yeah. They're in a bit of a financial uh, problem there. Uh, so, it's really sort of hard to make a case for them sort of going to the Parc de France and, and upsetting PSG. Handicap prices, half time, full time prices, they all look very short to me. Um, so, a speculative correct scoreline is probably the way to go. Um, and just uh, just at the prices, I think I'm going to favour 3 0. 3 0, which is priced at 6.3. Yeah, again, it's one of these everything points to home home yeah. win, 15 out of 19 in, uh, in League 1 for PSG. I think the angle to go here with these, these three European games that we covered, short uh, home teams Barcelona 1.2, Napoli 1.45, PSG 1.2. Put them all in uh, to a treble. You're getting odds against 2.1. OK, best bet then, Gareth, for Sunday. Um, well, I'm going to go for the Monday game. I'm going to go for the uh, sunderland Stoke game and I'm going to go for the draw of convenience here. Uh, r really like the unders, like the 0-1 goal option. Uh, but at, at, uh, at a slightly bigger price, I'm going to go for the draw at 3.3, which will uh, secure both teams. Another season of Premier League football and uh, viewers across the land, another treat of being able to watch them for a full season. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, think I'm, I'm, I like this trend in this Manchester United Chelsea meeting. I think uh, uh, United put on a bit of a show in front of their fans early on, uh, as they did against Villa. Chelsea still a bit of a Europa League hangover. Man United to win the first half at 2.7. Okay, and best bet for me, I've already said Barca, PSG, and Napoli all to win. So, what you say, 2.1? Yep, treble pairs 2.1, yes. Thanks, Sam. If you think you could do better than us, then do enter our tipster competition at bestofthebets.com. Well, we've got lots of Premier League goodies to give away, like this Everton signed football. We are also giving away free bets from Heaven Bet. So join our tipster competition, as I said, on bestofthebets.com. We'll see you same time, same place next week. See you then. Do you rate your powers of prediction? Well, now is your chance to prove it and win a prize. Log on to bestofthebets.com and in the tips and advice section, you'll find six Premier League games discussed in the show. Predict home draw away for each one and four or more correct answers guarantees a prize. Good luck.